Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the Benedictine Convent of St. John in Mustaire, Switzerland. So we're here today in Mustaire, a tiny little town on the eastern edge of Switzerland, right near the Italian border. And behind me is the convent and church of St. John. Now this was constructed in 775 AD and it's been operating continuously for about the last 1300 years. Now it may not look like much on the outside, it just looks like a fairly typical uh, small Swiss town church, but inside there's a collection of frescoes dating from around 800 AD and they're absolutely remarkable, very well preserved. Let's go check them out. Now this is the interior of the church here and the frescoes that you can see on the wall behind me date from around 800 AD. The entire church interior is just covered in them and they're really beautiful to see. They're all uh, biblical images, so you can see King David from the Old Testament, there's the youth and of course the Passion of Christ, uh, a large image of the Last Judgment as well. And then of course on the other wall over here are some slightly newer Romanesque frescoes as well. They're a little more colourful and a little better preserved. Now these are the Romanesque frescoes at the front of the church and they're a little bit different because they're much more colourful. They're using bright blues rather than ochres and browns on the other wall. And these are different stories too. The main one you can see is the story of King Herod and the execution of John the Baptist. And it's interesting to think that these were all painted in a time where many people were illiterate and so the only way the church could preach its uh, teachings was of course through artwork like this. Now the statue over my shoulder is one of the most interesting features here because it's the only statue in the whole building but he is a very important person. It is a statue of Charlemagne, the first Holy Roman Emperor, and the person who'd likely ordered this church and convent to be built. Now, he was also a great patron of Christian art, and it's quite likely that all of the painting here was inspired, if not ordered, by him as well. Pretty cool. Wow, how cool is that, hey? I've been super impressed with all the frescoes and paintings in there, and it's just so beautiful to see, and such a great part of history. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the Road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.